Here's how I make finger joints in light burn to create a box or other project. We'll start off with two squares, make them the same size. Uh, let's see, we'll do inches because it doesn't matter. Let's make it a six inch square. Now if we hit the escape I'm going through this quickly. If you need to understand something, pause the video, watch it again. Hit escape. I'm going to hit D for duplicate. And I'm going to move it over here. So now if I want to join these two edges, I decide how many fingers I want on one and I make the same number of slots on the other using the same pieces. I'm going to make another square, a rectangle here. This rectangle is going to be as wide as my material. So I unlock and my material is 4.6 millimeters. So the first thing I have to do is hit escape, is change back to millimeters select this piece. Oh, we have an extra piece here that we don't need. Delete that. Select this piece and the height, no, the width will be 4.6 millimeters. So that makes one tab. If I want three of them, I duplicate it twice. I'll take one and move it down here, select them all, and then I do a distribute vertically, and it ends up kind of like that. The thing to notice here is the spaces that are occupied by tabs and slots. Now bear with me, these will become fingers. There's one, two, three of these. There's four five, six, seven spaces. Four spaces surrounding these fingers and three spaces taking up the fingers. So I'm going to take this side length which is 152.4 and divide it by seven to determine the height or width of the finger. go back to inches, 6 divided by 7 equals this, and it automatically gives me the correct size so that I can evenly space out fingers and slots. Now I'm going to make these other two the same size by using this button right here, make selected items the same height. I select these two first and then the one I want to match and click this button now they're all the same height. Now to space them the way I want I'm going to create two more of these by hitting the duplicate key twice which is control D. I'm going to take both of these and turn them into tool paths so I don't cut them later. I'm going to align this one to the left side and the top and I'm going to align this one to the left side and the bottom of the square. I'm using hotkeys to do that. When you select an item and then select the one you want to align to, you can use the right key to align right, the B key for bottom, T for top, and L for left. These hotkeys are in the documentation. So now I want to move all of these over to the edge. 
and I actually want to move them over farther. So what I need to do is move this outside the box and then I'm going to use this docking area up here. I'm going to get rid of any padding because I want it to go right next to it. If you'll watch when I click this, it runs into the next object and stops. I'm going to move this one out and run it into this object which is our square and it stops. Now I will select these three and I will align them on their centers. I'll take them out here. I will dock them to the square and I will also dock it in the upwards direction and this one in the downwards direction and then I'll select these three again and I will space them vertically which lines this one up correctly. Now if I turn off the tool path you can see I have these fingers out here. They're not attached to this yet and before I do that I want to grab them all, select them, control D to make a duplicate and move them over here. Now that I have those pieces in the same place as these pieces, it will be easy to make these line up. I'm going to select these three and I'm going to group them together. Then I'm going to shift select the outer box, come over here to the first boolean operator which is a weld, click the weld button and now I have the fingers. Now I'm going to select these three which will become the slots. I'm going to align them to this side which the align right which is this button and I think, nope, I was going to say I thought they were grouped. I'm going to group them with this little group icon here. I like to use the hotkeys because that's faster. Then I'm going to shift select the box and weld those shapes. And now I have two sides that will fit together to make part of a box and you would just repeat these steps for all four sides and all five or six sides of a box.